Hello my friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the next or the second in a what I hope to be a series of videos in which we use an eyeshadow palette already in my collection and we only use three shades. We need to make it the least complicated but yet kind of stretch those shades to make a very um, pretty maybe glam look. You know how it goes but super uncomplicated. So today we're going to be using the Huda Beauty rose quartz eyeshadow palette listen i have used this about twice since i have purchased it and it needs some love these are way too pricey to only use once or twice so i picked this one out we're going to use this one today if you have this palette i hope it inspires you to pull it out of your drawer or maybe even something similar and just kind of go simple but yet really really glam so that being said let's go ahead and jump right into this eyeshadow look now so I'm going to start off with the shade Aura and a Sephora Collection very fluffy blending brush. Now, I chose this blending brush because it is so fluffy that it kind of helps diffuse the shade a little bit because I'm looking for a lighter, almost kind of just wash of color up in that transition slash into the brow bone area. Um, it is the same shade we're going to use to deepen up, but again, to make it almost look like two different shades, this is the brush I needed for that sheer wash of color. Now I'm going in with a Morphe more detailed blending brush and that exact same shade and now I'm going to concentrate it more in the crease area. So this is what's going to deepen up the look a little bit but I'm not doing it on the outer portion of the lid so it's in no way going to be a smoky look but obviously I need some sort of dimension. So using this brush helps it concentrate it a little bit more into the area I want and you can see I mean you can tell it's the same tone as what was what's on my like transition brow area, but they're obviously two different concentrations. One's lighter and obviously one's deeper. So then just going in with a little bit more product on that fluffy blending brush and placing it back in that transition area just because it had kind of disappeared a little bit. So just adding a little bit more. Now going in with my Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer, just adding this in for my tacky base because we're gonna use a couple of more standout shades. So I'm rubbing this all over the lid because that obviously means I'm going to use a couple of standout shades all over the lid. So smoothing that out. And now we're going to go in with the shade Quartz. And I'm going to use my finger, but we're definitely going to need to use a brush because I can't really reach all the way in there. So this is a more, I don't know that I would consider it a metallic shade. It's definitely like a satin metallic hybrid kind of shade. And it does have a little bit of a pink tone, pink copper, I guess. So I chose this one for the inner and outer portions of the lid just because I kind of want there to be a two-tone on the lid. Um, and this was pretty much perfect for that. So now going in with a, I think this is a BH Cosmetics flat shader brush and taking more of that shadow. And now I'm placing it on the bare spots that I couldn't reach with my finger. But you guys know I love to place these types of shades down with my finger because I feel like I get a little bit more concentration, more pigment. But... A brush definitely is necessary. So now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite shades in this palette, and it's the shade Energized. It's like a deeper champagne type of shade, and it is very high wattage. This is going to be the star of the show. This is going to really be what puts it over the top, makes it look like super glam, um, just so put together, but it's going to go right in the middle of the lid. It's going to be that super high beaming sh look at me shade, <laughs> but it blends in really well with that quartz shade we put on the outer and inner portion of the lid. So I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used and I'm going to add a little bit more of quartz and kind of just blend it in to that energized shade because I did lose some of that. It's not as intense as energized, so it can get a little bit lost. So just kind of replacing that down and getting them to mix. So now going back in with a little bit of Energize. Sometimes it's kind of a little bit of give and take, sometimes a little bit of going back and forth. And so I wanted a little bit more wattage. And so I just place that over top right on the middle. 
All right, lastly, I'm gonna take that Aura shade with that same detail or blending brush and just really messily put it on the lower lash line. Because there's not a lot of complex stuff going on on the lid, just doing it messy works. Like it just looks nice um, and it just ties it all together. So that being said, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the voiceover, let you watch me do my other eye. I will talk to you here in a minute. my friends well that brings us to the end of that if you are curious about the lippy i am wearing it is one of these little mini pat mcgrath lipsticks it's in the shade executive realness fun fact and i've told you all this time and time again but if you have green slash hazel eyes berry shades both eyeshadow and lip uh stick are ideal for that eye color because it will make that eye color pop so i love pairing a berry lip with a look like this just because it ties it all together um, and it just really goes well like those champagne shades we used today even like that cool tone brown it just all pulls together really nicely so I was feeling a berry lip that's what we've got going on there and that is that easy peasy again quick gets you out the door, but it looks like you really put some effort into putting yourself together. That being said, I just wanna give you a verse of the day to motivate you, encourage you, and to tell you that Jesus loves you. Today's comes from Isaiah 58, 11, and it says, you will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. That's just, I mean, it's so refreshing and just encouraging to read. I love that verse so much. But all right, friends, that being said, I will let you go. We'll close out this video here. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Please give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. These types of videos don't tend to get as much love. So if you do enjoy it, I kind of need to know because if not, I fall off the wagon with these types of videos. So that being said, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe and stay well. I love each and every one of you, but Jesus loves you more. Have a great day.